Welcome to Foodie Paradise Island with Denise Roy on day 63 of my raw vegan journey. So yesterday, day 62, ended up being a raw till 3 day, okay? So everything was going well, but then I made an incredible dinner and instead of going to watch my video of two days ago saying how I do not cheat for my <laughs> at dinner time, I just decided to eat some food, but the weird thing is, is that every time I do eat cooked food, my belly is much flatter the next day. So I don't know what's going on with that. I know that um, it's strange. So I'm having my probiotics and vitamin B12. Okay, um, I'll make this video quick. So this morning I'm opting for a delicious papaya. I really didn't know what to have. I was hesitating between smoothies, oranges, melon, but I went for papaya. I'm going to weigh it after, before and after to see how many calories are in it because I've been thinking about it, speaking to Michael, my husband, and we've come to the conclusion that if I'm not losing any weight after two months of being almost fully raw, it's that I'm not like there's too much calories going in compared to what I'm spending. Okay, I'm not that much into exercise. I'm trying to move more, but I'm not there yet. So I'm gonna have to cut the calories to, I'm thinking, I normally have between 1800 and 2000. So I'm thinking of maybe cutting a couple hundred a day. So at the end of a week and a half, I could lose a pound. Anyway, I want to try it. I would probably cut snacks, okay, a few bananas a day, because <laughs> that's the thing that just piles up, huh? like when I have 10, cal 10 bananas, it's automatically a thousand calories, but I'm not sure if I should lower the calories because eating this many keeps me on a happy flow, if I could say, okay, not always, I've had a few slips, but normally it keeps me very satisfied, but I do want to try cutting a bit to see the results. So that's pretty much it. I'm gonna have that and I probably won't be making any videos this weekend because I have a friend from Montreal coming for a few days. She's arriving today and leaving Sunday. And I'm a little nervous about that because uh, her and I, when we get together, it's always super fun. She gets along with the whole family, but we always have wine always always and now she's been telling me for the past few days oh yes you're gonna have some but i'm gonna make it clear from the beginning if you're my friend you know that what's best for me and i do not want to have wine this weekend so please support me so it should be good no, i'm not actually that worried about it my mind's so made up okay and tonight and tomorrow night my one of my daughters is animating a show at school, so I'm gonna be very busy with that. And then Sunday, my two younger ones are doing a guitar concert in Quebec City, so we're gonna be gone there for the day. Maybe walk around Old Quebec and, and for sure stop at Costco's. That's gonna be great. So I don't know if I have time to make a video, but I'll be thinking of all of you to support me during the weekend. Thank you, bye. I'm snacking on a Macintosh apple simple but very good so the children had pita bread with hummus and all veggies in it for lunch and it really looked good so I decided to make myself something that resembles it I have my tortillas that I made at least a month ago they stayed really good okay it is tomato squash and apple tortilla rolls these have a few chia seeds in them so all I do is I put some delicious greens then okay this is my fifth one I'll stop after this I will have had five of them for lunch they're really small greens then Tanny Raw's delicious 1000 island dressing okay I was happy because I got it out of the fridge and I whipped it back up and it's, the texture stayed beautiful then what do I put? Tomatoes. We'll put some orange bell pepper. And red and green onions. So you see this is really healthy and yummy. 
So, mm, five of those for lunch, and I'll bring myself some fruit and a lot of water because I have to go out. And hopefully, I'll see you for dinner. Bye. Hi. So I finally got clearance bananas. I got two cases, so it was, it was 80 pounds, but I sold some to my mother. So I got all these bananas for 80 pounds for $35. Then I got a few heads of iceberg lettuce for $1.50 each. Two cases of clementine, so they were $4 each for five pounds. And then I got these little packs of dried dates from Algeria, Algerian dates. And I had three packs, but I ate a whole one. Okay, so that goes up to 600 calories. That wasn't great, even more, about 625 calories. I had that with two other Macintosh apples this afternoon. So tonight I think I'll go with fresh lettuce and a little dressing. Nothing too sweet. So I'm happy I got all those bananas because my reserve in the freezer was getting really low. And I love frozen bananas. Hi, I forgot to say that I got this celery. It cost me $3. And I also got two plantains that are already black. So I should be eating them in a few days. Bye. To end this day, I am having a beautiful platter of veggies. So I have greens, yellow bell, yellow bell pepper, some cauliflower, carrots, tomato, and I'll dip them in my leftover 1000 Island dressing. Okay, so I'm very happy with the food I had today, except maybe those dates. Uh, they made my calories go up immensely because as I said, I would have liked to lower my calories a bit, but just in fruit I have 1200. So with my five tortillas at lunch and this, I think that I'm going to be around 18, 1900 again. So, oh well, at least there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's perfect for me, but not to drop weight. Anyway, at least I had a wonderful day eating wonderful food and certainly not gaining weight. So thanks for being there and if you enjoyed this video <laughs> and uh, subscribe if you haven't leave me comments as I said and oh my friend isn't coming finally she's not feeling well so I'll just be having my herbal tea tonight with my family taking it easy getting we ready for our weekend of shows goodbye thank you again for being there